The Honors College serves high achieving students who are interested in developing their leadership skills and fostering a, a heart for service. It's a, it's a place where they can academically come and, and ask uh, more complex questions about the areas of study that they're in, to dive deeper into their curriculum, to look at it perhaps in a, in a broader context. For many honor students, the Honors College is a very significant and meaningful part of their educational journey. Growing up, even at Harding through my time over these past four years, I feel like I've been able to become more comfortable as a student, taking really a deeper look into academia. So it's just asking deeper questions, challenging yourself to write more, to learn more, to grow more. Academically, the Honors College offers students the opportunity to take honors classes and earn honors credits. And so honors classes are characterized by what we call the three C's. So communication, critical thinking, and contribution. We want every honors student to be a strong communicator. We want them to be able to ask really difficult questions about the world around them, and then to go seek answers to those questions. And we want them to contribute. We want them to contribute to the broader academic community, and we also want them to contribute to the communities around them. Not only does the Honors College allow you to invest in yourself, but it also allows you to ask, what would it look like if out of the 168 hours in my week, if I gave just a couple of those to pour into someone besides myself? The Honors House is home for honor students. It's a place for them to come and hang out, to study, to be with their friends, to meet with professors, to eat lunch together. There's always something going on at the Honors House. Twice a week, for example, honor students come over and they tutor local high school students. The Honors House also provides a lot of resources for honor students. They can come over and check out kayaks and bicycles and computers and sports and camping equipment. Lots of opportunities for honor students here at the Honors House. We believe that education happens best in community. The Honors College has about 500 active students. Every year that student body elects leaders, representatives to the Honors Student Association. And those leaders plan activities for the Honors Student Body. They plan fun activities, they plan educational opportunities, they plan service projects, all ways to keep the honor student body engaged and involved. Honor students can also earn honors credits in upper level classes in their majors by completing honors contracts. An honors contract is when a student works with a faculty member who is teaching their class and they enter into a contract with them. Maybe the faculty member and the student work collaboratively on a research project. Whatever it is that they do as part of their contract, it's in lieu of some work that other students in the class are doing. And so through an honors contract, these students are able to individualize their education and they're also able to work in a really meaningful mentorship relationship with their faculty member. We want every honors student to be engaged while they're here. We want them to be involved in the academic offerings of the Honors College. We want them on track to graduate in four years with Honors Distinction. So we want them taking Honors courses. We also want them to be involved in leadership on campus and beyond. And we want them to be involved in, in service on campus and beyond. We believe that when you match academic excellence with leadership and a heart for service, God is going to do really big things for those people. And it's been so important for me to develop really a responsibility for my education to see that I can learn more. I can learn as much as I want because I have these opportunities here at Harding, but really through the Honors College to maximize what an educational experience has to offer.